Hyper means excessive and capnia is derived from the Greek word kapnos means smoke or carbon dioxide. Together, excessive amount of carbon dioxide in blood is called hypercapnia. The amount of CO2 dissolved in blood is called PaCO2 or partial pressure of carbon dioxide in blood. An increased level of PaCO2 in blood above normal is hypercapnia. So, what's normal? In arterial blood, the level of PaCO2 is between 35 to 45, anything that's above is hypercapnia. It has two types in general, acute and chronic. Now, acute hypercapnia is the driving force behind CO2 narcosis. So the etiology of CO2 narcosis is depend on the cause of acute hypercapnia. Let's understand the etiology of CO2 narcosis or causes in detail. Although the etiology is complex, it's useful to categorize the potential causes into three categories, decreased minute ventilation, increased physiologic dead space, and increased carbon dioxide production. Number 1. Decreased minute ventilation. First, what is minute ventilation? Minute ventilation, also known as total ventilation, is a measurement of the amount of air that enters the lungs per minute. It is the product of respiratory rate and tidal volume. The minute ventilation is the respiratory rate into tidal volume. Now, what are the causes of minute ventilation? As we know, the central nervous system controls respiration. More particularly, the respiratory centers in the medulla. The central respiratory center in the medulla integrates feedback from multiple inputs into a respiratory drive that controls our minute ventilation. Anything that affects the central respiratory center can have an impact on minute ventilation. Minute ventilation is raised in cases of sedatives medication overdose, stroke, and hypothermia. Although the medulla functions to control the respiratory drive, many peripheral nerves and respiratory muscles are needed to perform respirations. The decreased respiratory neuromuscular function can decrease minute ventilation. Also, deformity of the thoracic cage can impact tidal volumes, therefore decreasing minute ventilation. Next, increased physiologic dead space. Increase in physiologic dead space is one of the cause of hypercapnia. So, what is physiologic dead space? Dead space represents the volume of ventilated air that does not participate in gas exchange. The two types of dead space are anatomical dead space and physiologic dead space. Anatomical dead space is represented by the volume of air that fills the conducting zone of respiration made up by the nose, trachea, and bronchi. One can see an increase in the value of physiologic dead space in lung disease states, where the diffusion membrane of alveoli does not function properly, or when there are ventilation or perfusion mismatch defects. Third cause of hypercapnia is anything that increases CO2 production. This group is more likely to contribute only partially to hypercapnia and is not usually the primary cause, but it can occur in conditions that increase metabolic rates. Environmental exposure to areas rich in carbon dioxides, such as volcanoes or geothermal activity, puts patients at risk for carbon dioxide poisoning. It can lead to sepsis, thyrotoxicosis or fever.